and gentlemen, another day, and just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. Um, for, let, we have to start. I don't. I don't want to start with Maria Harf again, but we will start with Maria Harf again. She was on Morning Joe today, and all the buzz about that interview is that they asked her if she wanted a mulligan. You know, like Bill Clinton when he used to play golf. Uh, when he when he hit a bad shot, it was like a do-over. That's called a mulligan in golf. So she said, no, I don't want a mulligan for what she said about how you battle terrorism, what she's been getting so much criticism for. But then she does it again. She pulls an Obama. She brings up this. Now, let, let's, let's listen and watch what she said, and then I'll weigh in. Mike, this is not just a threat uh, in one place. If you look uh, at the Lord's Resistance Army and Coney, Joseph Coney, I don't remember people talking about that as much anymore, but that's a Christian militant group. So there are a lot of different extremist threats we face, and there are different tools we have to go after each one of them. <laughs> she brings up a Christian extremist group, or whatever she called them, terrorist group. Well, she wouldn't call them terrorists. Um, let me tell you about the group she talked about, okay? The Lord's Resistance Army. Uh, the Lord's Resistance Army, um, also known as the Lord's Resistance Movement, is an uh, extremist Christian militant movement um, it, that started in, it operated in northern Uganda and South Sudan. They started in 1987. I went back and I looked at the New York Times series of articles any article that mentions this group. And you got to go way back. In the past five years, the only mention of this group is that they're going after their leader, the leader that she mentioned, um, uh, Joseph Coney. And there were rumors in one year, I think 2013, that he was going to surrender. Then another guy turned himself in from that group, and they're still looking for this Coney guy. And But, I, 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 I mean, they haven't committed any acts of, uh, you know, any atrocities that I could tell going back seven or to ten years. And she brings them up, a group that was formed in, in, in what they believe was self-defense uh, against another Ugandan group that was trying to take over the country. Now, I'm not defending any terrorist group. I'm just saying she had a dig. She had a dig deep to come up with a Christian extremist group uh, and had a knock Christianity. That's what she's doing. You want to list the, the, na the names of every Islamic terrorist group in the world? And that's what she pulls up for with a Christian group? The, the Lord's Resistance Army? That's the best she could do? That speaks volumes. But that's who these people are. That's who Obama is. He'll bring up the Crusades. Don't let us get on our high horse. Uh, in the name of Christ, atrocities have been committed. Blah, 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 blah. That's who he is. And she has to be who he is. Don't think this was by accident. They fed her this. You don't think the, the Obama war room looked long and hard to say, there's got to be a Christian terror group here. There's got to be a Christian terror group. Where's the Christian terror group? Where's the Jewish terror group? And this is what they came up with. A group that, and, and she said, I wonder why nobody's talking about it. You know why nobody's talking about it? Where are they? What are they doing? I mean, it is, it is beyond insanity. Ladies and gentlemen, see, what we need, we being the, the people who want to get a Republican into the White House, who want to take back this country, what we need, what the Republicans have to do if you're a prospective presidential candidate, you got to be out there saying what I'm saying every single day. Now, I'm not a candidate. <laughs> and if you're the leader, leadership in the House and the Senate, you got to be out there saying what I'm saying every single day. You got to call out Maria Harf, not just one guy here, one guy there, Peter King, Stephen King, the, everybody, the leadership. I want to see every prospective presidential candidate. My God, I, you know what she, you know what the next guest was going to be? If they couldn't come up with this, they would. I bet you they would have went to Timothy McVeigh. You know, I did talk radio for 30 years, and whenever 
somebody wanted to say, oh, it's not just Muslims, uh, Christians too. Every religion has them. Oh, yeah? Who? What Christian? Uh, Timothy McVeigh. Timothy McVeigh. He wasn't Christian. He didn't do it in the name of Christ. It had nothing to do with his religion. I, would, I bet you, if they couldn't come up with this garbage, she would have said, how come nobody's talking about Timothy McVeigh anymore? That's how desperate they are. It's sick. It's twisted. And uh, unfortunately, this is uh, who's leading our country. Congressman Steve King is next. Don't go away.